Let me introduce, how to add a bulletin board, beautiful user profile, sending and receiving messages between subscribers, how to make all subscribers can post on WordPress website. Essentially, I will use one of the most popular plugs BB Press and Buddy Press. Additional add-on plugins are used, for beautiful page design. Let's get started. Go to the plugin menu. Search for BB Press. Install and activate it. It is one of the most famous plugin for bulletin board. Let me install the Elements Kit plugin that I introduced the Elementor video. This is a recommended add on plugin for Elementor. But it's not essential, it's up to your taste. When BB Press is installed, you can see that three menus have been created. Forum, Topic, and Reply. Forums are bulletin boards, topics are posts, and replies are comments. Go to the Forums menu. Click the Add New button to create new forum. Check it on the front end. The forum created but there is no post on the forum yet. When you click the forum link, there are all the list of forums. Let me add one more bulletin board. Let's check again. Now you can see what has been added. Let's add a topic in this forum. Oops, I get an error that there is no title. I hope no one gets confused about where to put the title like me. Add it like this. How subscribers can add topics is shown in a moment. In the case of an admin, it is also available in the dashboard topic menu. Select the forum bulletin board on the right. Let's check one the front end. Shall we add a few more topics? Let me show you how to register a forum in your site menu. Go to the menu under Appearance. You can see that the forum has been added to the left sidebar. If you can't see it, please make sure that forums are checked in the screen options. Click the View All tab in the forum, check the forum page and add it. It becomes a menu showing the entire forum. Or you can add a specific forum you want to show. If you want to show a bulletin board on a specific page. You can add it with short code. Let me make a page. Moves to the Elementor edit. You can check the short code here. After copying a short code, Add the shortcode element in the general tab. Paste the copied shortcode. Lastly, check the front end page. The advantage to add shortcode to the page in this way. 
It is easy to design page with Elementor. Let me add the template provided by the Elements Kit add-on. After some editing, I organized it the form on bottom. Let's check the front end. As you can see, the forum page has been replaced. It is more stylish than before. Let me change the title. As you can see, it is very easy to change to suit your taste. It's a WordPress page, so it's easy to add to your menu. Go to the forum under settings, all the options of BBPress are here. There may be nothing difficult when you read the option description. Let me explain only the forum root slug. Root slug is important because it will be included to the URL. So, it is an important factor in SEO. It is recommended that you choose a name that matches the purpose of the forum. Let's take a look at how to write post and comment, subscriber's point of view. Currently, there is only admin user, let me add another 5 members. I logged in as subscriber user 1. Move to a forum, there are some posts. User 1 can comment. The comment has been added without any problems. Let me add new plugin called BuddyPress. It is also very popular plugin. Go to the plugin menu and install and activate BuddyPress. This page is the WordPress dashboard as user 1. All subscribers can access and edit their profile information. However, this page is inferior compared to a typical commercial website. It is unfamiliar to general website visitors. The BuddyPress can solve this issue. In my personal opinion, using default WordPress profile picture upload system is not good. Because all subscribers should register on Gravatar. But if you use BuddyPress, you can clear this issue easily. A subscriber can upload photos in the Extended Profile tab. No worries, they can do it on the front end as well. They can take a picture in real time. Name is Required Field. Let's test comment again. It looks much better than before. Let's add a topic now. It works fine. When BuddyPress is installed, this plugin creates two pages, Members and Activity. Members page shows a list of subscribers, Activity shows the activity for each subscriber. I logged in as user 2, let me show you how to edit the profile in the front end. Go to the user 2 profile tab. And click the change profile photo tab. Upload a photo here. Press the crop button to change your profile picture. The cover image shows your profile picture. 
Change it like this. The notification tab next to profile lets you know when you receive a message. This is a common feature of social media platforms like the Facebook. Shall we send a message to user 1? Click on public message. Enter a message and click the post update button to send the message. Log in as user 1. There is one message notification. Finally, we created a pretty decent SNS website. Let's take a look at the members and activity pages. It is difficult to edit if you are not a programmer. For better page design and editing, let me introduce one more plugin. Search for BuddyPress Builder for Elementor. Install and activate it. In the BuddyPress Builder menu, go to the Templates tab. There is a pre-starter template. Import it. After importing, go to the front-end members page. Wow, it has become more attractive than before. Furthermore, this plugin makes page edit with Elementor. Go to the top menu. Select the members directory starter menu. Find a favorite page template and add it. Check it on the front end. This view page menu shows still edit view. Let's go directly to the front end members page. Each member's profile page is also updated, compared to the default BuddyPress. It is more beautiful than default.